Hi there. In this video, you'll learn how to create hotspot questions. This is a new question type, which allows learners to interact directly with images. A hotspot question asks learners to identify one, or more spots on an image, as correct answers. The procedure to create a hotspot question is, insert a hotspot question, customize a hotspot question, set score and reporting, add events, actions, insert feedback messages. To insert this question type, open the home tab, click interactions, and click hotspot, or open the questions tab, and click hotspot. A new question slide appears with three main parts, question title, answer area, and a button. To add an image, click this button and select an image from file or from project. Next, click the plus button to add a hotspot or right click the image. Click add hotspot area. Select either oval or rectangle. Then apply it to a specific spot you want. Drag the resizing handles to resize the hotspot. You can add more hotspot as well. Go to the properties pane of the answer area, select style and effects tab and click hotspot. You are free to customize hotspot color, opacity, and radius. Now, take a look at the general section of the interactivity tab. Multiple response checkbox is checked to allow clicking many spots on the image and each click you made is considered as an answer. However, in case the question has only one correct answer, uncheck the box or right click the image, select multiple response. This helps the last click is accepted as your answer. Even if you click many spots, by default, a hotspot that you insert into the image is set as a correct answer. Active Presenter enables you to set the score and reporting for the question. You can find them in the score and reporting section of the properties pane. First, remember to select the graded mode. Then, define the number of points for each correct answer that learners get. Next, define the number of max attempts that learners can make and the total time for answering the question before the objects are disabled. If you want to track the online learner's result with an LMS, pay attention to this value. You can change the ID to track the result more easily. Like other question types, Hotspot ones also have default events and actions that are ready to use. As you can see, a Hotspot question has four events by default. On correct, on incorrect, on incomplete, on timeout. For example, if learners give a correct answer, a correct feedback will appear. However, you can change these properties as you wish. See Working with Events Actions video for more information. A question always comes with default feedback messages. In Active Presenter 8, open the View tab. Click Feedback Master and work with these messages as normal objects. Then click Plus Master View to save the change. Now, let's preview the result. So, you've known how to work with Hotspot Question in Active Presenter 8. Thanks for watching.